What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode What's of up? Those Car Dudes. Look who I found. <laughs> JD's back. I'm back. He's back. Where was I? I don't know. <laughs> we couldn't find him and then eventually we found him. So it's good to have you back JD. What are we doing on your car today? Well today we're going to be improving the handling of the mighty GTR. Come on, not a GTR. And uh, we're going to be installing these. So these Hello. are traction rods for the rear and these are camber arms for the rear. And we're going to be, I guess, showing you how to do that. So, uh, so excited. Can't let's wait do to get it. these in. Oh, come on man. These are traction rods, and these are the ones that we're going to be installing in the rear. Um, these actually lessen the bump steer that you get from the driving your car. And um, yeah, it's going to improve the handling, and it's going to make for a bit of a firmer ride, which is going to be so cool. And these are the camber arms that we're going to be putting in today. They adjust the camber. Some people use them for, you know, the Huller, flush kind of stance, life, vibes. But we're going to be using them for actual drifting kind of mods, aren't we Nathan? I think so. The first step you want to do is uh, take off your wheel. Pit crew bro, going fast there, going fast there. Bro, watch this. Watch this bro, you ready for a trick bro? You ready for a trick? Bro, I used to play footy back in the day. You ready for that? Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry! Dude, you know what? I just got this camera like a week ago and he's already kicking soccer balls out. I'm done. Straight up, I'm done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like make my own channel somewhere else. You know, Nathan, you need to stop joking around sometimes. Here are the arms that we were replacing. Uh, this is the camber arm that goes around the suspension and that is our traction arm. And that's gonna be uh, thrown out and burnt and it's gonna be replaced with these good guys. Come on. So what we have, we have five bolts. One there, one there, one behind there, one here, and because for some reason this arm goes around the suspension, the suspension needs to come out. Thankfully not all the way, luckily just at the bottom, um, but yeah, we'll get that off and then that should just be able to slide out underneath. So most of the time you're working on a bad angle, and it's hard to get your weight behind it, so you gotta sometimes just hit it, and it should come loose. Hey JD! No pain, no game, bro. No pain, no game. Um, okay. You stop fooling around, bro. So hard sometimes, Nathan. You know, all I want is just a mean car. And I have to freaking deal with the stupidest stuff sometimes. What are you complaining about? You just started. Surely, come on. This job is a lot easier with CRC or WD-40, some kind of lubricant. Um, so I'm going to go inside the shed here and I'm going to see what we can find. What do we got back here? Uh, what the heck? Got the no chucker chain lube. Check it, check it out yo. Hey bro. Yo. You need to use the no chucker. Use the no chucker chain lube. You can use this one. Alright then, I was just trying to help. Hold one out. Probably sell these, eh? If you came on some factory arms, let me know. Let's go, dudes. Just call me and we'll, we'll, we'll be in <laughs> contact. Maybe I'll stuff putting that in the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, just, I'll probably forget to put it in the description, so just call me. Alright everyone, uh, JD has taken out the um, traction rod, the rear one, on the left hand side, which is pretty exciting, that's the old one. And this is the new one here. Um, very cool, it's just basically... Whoops. It's blue. You can't see it on the ground, bro. It's blue, that's, that's, that's the difference. So you can adjust it. But it's also blue, and blue things go fast. And we single handed JD single handedly did this without using the no chucker chain lube. Let's check him out, no chucker chain. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, but how are we doing over here? I'm good, bro. Looking for an extension, bro. <laughs> uh, don't use the wrong tools.
So now that you have all the bolts loosened and taken out, the trick to the getting this sucker out is obviously just undoing the bottom bit of the suspension. So let's just pick it up a bit and just fling it off to whichever way it just wants to go. And then can't just let it rest on the lower arm. Uh, lucky with the with this one, the hub can just hang without actually hanging on any of the uh, brake lines. So I'm just going to take this out now. There it is. Look at that. And put the other one in. So what we're doing now is that we are getting the adjustable uh, camber arm the right length, well the same length actually as the old factory one and that's just because I just wanted one the same and I probably know what you guys are thinking, you guys are probably thinking you know how do you measure it like that, it's impossible. Well I'm just looking at by the eye and um, yeah I mean I'm obviously going to get a wheel alignment uh, soon so yeah it's just before I go for set so yeah they will adjust everything to doing what I want. Um, after that, but um, yeah, I mean just getting it roughly the same so I can go and do some skids What can I say that? <laughs> no, I don't know that On the track. On the track. On the track. On the track Cool, so let's just adjust about this end bit here um, Once it's on the car, I'll just tighten that, that bit up and Lock it in. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do the same for the traction rods Just gonna get them roughly the same length and then um, yeah, just tighten them up uh, they can adjust with both ends, um, and again, I'll just tighten that up once it's on the car. These new camber arms, they're a little bit uh, thinner, so they would slide in through that gap a little bit better. Man, just imagine putting the old ones back in. It's a good time. <laughs> so what I have here is just a little bit of grease. Just put a bit of grease on there. And then you can put it through. And that should be good for good, but good for good. Is that a thing? Good for good? With the camber arms, um, they provided us with uh, some new longer bolts than the factory ones. So that was the factory one, and that was the that's the new one. Um, so obviously, uh, that edge. I don't know if you guys can see that. That edge is a little bit thicker than the factory one, so we'd need a little bit more thread. So ideally, we'd want to put in the new longer ones. In this case, Nathan. Yeah. Do you know how sometimes you drive with your knees? Yeah. You can use your knees as well when you're working on your camber arms. You can just like, you know, support it a little bit. Get it into the right spot? Yeah, just so you can line up the hole and you can like literally just... Wait, bro. That's mean. Thank goodness for knees, bro. That knees are fantastic. Who invented knees? That's oh, awesome. Really? That's so cool. Oh, really? Knees are awesome. Knees are the... Knees. So if you guys don't have any knees, make sure you go and check them out on our website. What was that? Were you showing off your bicep, bro? Sorry about it. Oh, hey. sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> with these traction uh, arms, you can uh, put them in with the uh, same bolts. Um, but obviously, I'm just gonna cruise them up a bit, and then before I put them back in. Just makes it easier to don't get ask, them. Don't ask me why I do it. I just do it. Well, it just makes them easier to get them back out, eh? Like if you have to pull them back out. Yeah. Hopefully they stay in there though, <laughs> right? Like, 
They might just slip out, bro, on the track. <laughs> on the motorway, like. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? My car just got lower, bro. We're scraping on the on the rear lift there. What's happening? I think this is probably one of the easiest modifications you can do to your skyline. Why do you say that, bro? Especially if it's a GTR. Why do you say that? Well, it's cheap. A couple of bolts. It improves handling. What more do you want? I mean, it's true. These these arms were literally 170 bucks for the traction arms, and it was 220 for the cam arms. Why wouldn't you? Because you need cert. A lot of people don't want to pay for cert, but when you've done everything that you've done, it's still not cert today. Eh? It's still not cert. <laughs> Everybody, you should report him. <laughs> report him. <laughs> Driving an unserted car, illegal. <laughs> Bro, can you do a mug shot for us? Mugshot? Yeah, mugshot. Like if you were just getting a photo because you just got arrested and you're going to prison. Just give us a mugshot. Your best mugshot. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Do, do your best mugshot, bro. Nah, do it, do it, bro. Right you got it, too you got it. Pressure. You've nah. just been locked up. You're nah. going to jail. Do it for nah, YouTube, bro. bro. Do it for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's <too big> <laughs> now everything's um, on the... Well, where they need to be. On the car. And, yep. Uh, we're going to go <laughs> ahead now and uh, tighten everything up. JD just finished tightening everything up and he did a naughty, didn't you JD? What? You did a naughty. Why? You didn't use a torque wrench. For one of these, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's so bad about this one? <laughs> um, <laughs> we didn't use a torque wrench because we're actually in a rush to be somewhere. Tight, man. That's all it, I have to say about that. Yeah, that's like your favorite saying. Um, it's the only thing. And I tried to find the torque specs online, but I couldn't. So we're going to go back and have a better look at some other point. And while we're under the car next time, we'll tighten everything up with a torque wrench. But um, always use a torque wrench. In this case, we're not. We're naughty. But uh, it does look good under there. Just to clarify guys, don't ever use my friend no chucker on your nuts and bolts because <laughs> you will have issues. There we have it. All arms are in. No sir. No worries. No sir. <laughs> Report them. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how you do it. JD did a great job today. I just kept my fingers clean. It was great. Ten bolts. Fantastic. Um, we do not advise using no chucker on car parts. We do not advise not using a torque wrench and we do not advise drifting on the street. We do advise having a good time though. Enjoying yourself in your car on, on the track. The, on, on the road. On the track. Thanks so much <laughs> for watching guys. Um, it's been absolute ball um, to be doing these videos and so uh, we're just loving all the feedback that we're getting and we're gonna continue doing these. We absolutely love it, it's heaps of fun. Uh, I guess, well, like, subscribe, share, share a comment what you thought of this video, and we'll see you in the next one. More things to come. It's going to be good. Definitely. Peace out. Peace out. All right, everyone. So we just took it out, or taken out. The... <laughs> Look at this, everyone. Look at this. Wait, wait for it. I'll try and get it on the camera. Oh, man, the lighting sucks. I'm sorry. We're not a professional TV production person. Sorry, let me just shine that light. Yeah, oh, right sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're, yeah, just we're just lighting that up for you. Can you see that? Oh, sorry. No, oh, well, my bad. The light's the wrong way around.